What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 35 of our Blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are in Po Town, and uh, I gotta be honest, I have not played this game in over a week now. Uh, you guys probably, if you've been following the Let's Play closely, will also realize that. I apologize. I have been either out of town or working, and so I have not, I literally haven't had any time to sit down at my computer and actually record. But I have been able to, while I was out of town, I was able to bring my game and play around in the GTS a little bit, fill out the Pokedex, do some of that, you know, the boring chore work that kind of is going to uh, be in the post game a lot. But uh, this is where we were. I didn't level up any of my Pokemon, so I know that they said that there's no way I'm getting through here. Um, there's a hole there, I'm assuming, that I can crawl through. And I'm assuming if I go up here, they're going to tell me... You can't come through here. You're not coming through. You gotta find a path. True, true. Uh, and this is gonna say Po Town. No, you're in Team Skull territory now. Ooh, 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 and an item. All right. See, I could totally. This little Geo character. He's he can't even slip through the side of this tree. Come on, come on now. Or like hop over this this like gentle fence. I've climbed fences like twice my height. This is ridiculous. I have to find a... See, I wouldn't even do this. I would jump over the fence before I would get on my knees and ruin my jeans and crawl through a hole like that. Can I get on Stoutland? See what's going on around here? See if there's any items? So these two are going to be like super shocked that I was able to find my way around a tiny little... Are you hard-headed? Your skull must be rock. You shouldn't have come in here, yo. Now I'm going to make you regret it gesturing he kind of does like the what does he do like the morpheus like get over here right what's he got yeah he does this guy's so morpheus just maybe a little light on the pigment a little light on the pigment to be a morpheus but oh he's got a spinner rack luckily i got a critical hit on that spinner rack otherwise i'm not, not sure it would have gone down in one hit barricade made a soft Oh jeez, barricade or no, we ain't letting you go. I love the I love the rhymes that these guys do. It is a little reminiscent of Team Rocket though. They're blasting off at the speed of light surrender now or prepare to fight. You know what I mean? Grimer. So that was a really annoying Grimer, or it could have been. It, as it turns out, it ended up not being that annoying. But that Grimer was just spamming Minimize. But luckily, on the first Fire Fang, I burned it. So it was bound to die sooner or later. But more importantly, Darkest Lariat ignores stat changes. So I was able to just hit it every time. At least I think that's what it does. It says that stat changes don't affect its damage. But that, that could be could mean that it just ignores all stat changes and that's just a wording. Ooh, a Spinda. Ready for fly rhymes in your ear, yo. But yo, what are you doing here, yo? <laughs> yo, it's darker than dark right up in here, yo. I'm getting scared like I met with a Fearo. Ain't nobody around. I'm feeling kind of down, but I'm still holding it down here in Poe Town. Hey, yo, spin it, Spinda. <laughs> the DJ, DJ Spinda up in the house. So listen up, intruder. She wants money, but it always eludes her. Team Skull represent. We can't pay the rent. Had a lot of fun, but our youth was misspent. <laughs> this Pokemon Center is where we cower. We can't pay bills, so we got no power. If you give us 10 Poke Yen, we'll, we will help you out by healing our team here before the next bout. Sounds good, yo. That's all they really want is a little money. We knew we could count on you, yo. Thanks to you, we can make do, yo. <laughs> See, I would have given them probably more than 10 Poke Yen, but you know what? Cash makes us perky, so even though you were a bit jerky, I'll heal up your team so you can do worky. <laughs> no. Nice try with that last one there. <laughs> this is what the Hypno said. S -s 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 -s, said the Spinda. Z -z -z -z, said the grunt. That's enough, grunt. Back in your ball. Always oh, dreaming about being a Pokemon. I guess we can. So every time I spend ten, every time I spend ten, they'll heal me up. Okay. 
And then they just repeat their rhymes. Okay, so nothing else going on in here, it looks like. We can keep it moving. Keep it moving, keep it moving, full speed. So I guess the rinse and repeat of this is go to the next barricade, find the next hole in the wall. Okay, there's a trainer through here, two trainers. I'll tag team me as soon as I step through. Double battle. All right, let's go. I haven't had a double battle in a while. I haven't had any battles in a while, but let's uh, let's do this. What do they got? If it's interesting, maybe I even won't cut it, but I'm feeling like it probably won't be. And it is a Eradicate Golbat. Boring! That was a double battle. How surprising. So, two more Team Skull grunts down. And a rare candy. What did we find earlier? Max Repel or something? So that was just, that was nothing but an item little part of the maze. I say maze, I say that really generously because let's be honest. It's a pretty linear little bout. Okay, we got a trainer right behind that car over there. Can't go through that gate. Nothing over here. Stalin sniff anything out? No. I said behind the car. I need to apologize for that. He is actually standing on top of the car. <laughs> Cause he's so he's so friggin' tough. He's just up there. Hey. Stop having fun out there. Outside my window. <laughs> Never really have a window over there, but. I can hear it. Two dark lariats and oh, excuse me, the darkest of lariats. There are no dark darker lariats. I have the one lariat that will out darkenate all of the rest of the lariats. Got a little stepping stool up there. What do we got? Maybe an item over here. So another team grunt. Horn drill and guillotine basically never hit when you want them to. That's it. I'm done taking gambles. I'll kick this habit once and for all. You can put your money on me. Don't really get it. Ooh, a little Murkrow chilling up there. Ominous. Uh, is that a sign? No, it's a box. My Wimpod is actually too rowdy. You think you can calm it down? I will knock that thing out cold. It won't be rowdy after that. It'll be it'll be unconscious. Kiss the ring, bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Bye-bye, <laughs> Wimpod. Don't get rowdy now. Or do. I mean, you're you're an adult Pokemon. You can make your own decisions. What's What is wrong with him? Doesn't he see we're getting invaded over here? Hey, that reminds me. Whatever happened to that guy who was always calling people numbskulls? Everybody in this game calls people numbskulls. Everybody. It's like the only thing people know how to say. And go back down through here. I wonder if there's any items this way. California way. Got a little a smoke ball. Okay, so now I can run away. That hasn't really been much of a problem in the past, truth be told. A little gentleman over here. He's a straight shooter. Simple. Straight like he's an arrow or something like that. Is there really nothing on the ground? Any of these places? I'll believe you, Stalin, if you tell me so, but... Now we're in the shady house. And this guy is going to want... He couldn't see me. I was like two steps in front of him. It's too shady. I'm an incomplete grunt. This is the only place for me in the whole world. That is... That is sad. A place called, if, the, if a place called the Shady House is the only place in the whole world that you'll feel at home. Oh, three Pokemon. Oh god, and the Zubat. Fast forward magic, quick! So I defeated all three of the Pokemon, and one thing I saw that was kind of cool is he had a Salandit as his third Pokemon, and it actually went for Nasty Plot on me, which is a really good competitive move for a Pokemon like that. Uh, really fast... 
Uh, I imagine not super powerful, not ridiculously hard hitting. We got through a door here, but that would be really useful for uh, for Pokemon like that to gain a lot of power. An Ice Stone. Presumably that'll... Uh... <laughs> Those two are just waving at each other. Having a... Having a fun old time. What? I can't go behind there? Alright. I'm assuming there's nothing in that swimming pool. Looks like it. So we're done through that hallway. We got another girl here who's going to want to battle in a doorway here. This gentleman is just sleeping. Excuse me. And a maximum revive. Revive it to the max. Hey. Nice little empty room. Piece of paper on the floor. What's it say? I'll walk on it first. This month's secret password is beat up. If anyone axes me what the password is, I'm going to beat it up. How did she not see me? I walked right in front of her stupid little face. And, okay, can we remove this cloth mask from your mouth, please? Who are you trying to hide from? You're in... You're in a room with... In a house with all of your shady friends. Marini. I love Marini. This is terrible, yo. This mansion is going to get wrecked again because you got wrecked. It involved me defeating a Marini, which I got to tell you, I'm not too happy about. I like Marini. Marini's very cool. Oh, what's that? I hear that Mr. Guzma never got a Z ring as a sort of handicap because he's too strong already. Yeah, or he's a little. Tiny little scaredy little, you know. You know, I mean, yeah, exactly. I don't even need to say it. The type of scaredy that he is. Maybe even like a cat. Some kind of feel, some scaredy feline of some sort. Okay. Now you're defeated. Every last shard of Buginium in Alola for Mr. Guzma. Also that Mr. Guzma could be sure you'd have the strongest bug user. Okay. So I'm going to get hit with a bug blaster or whatever <laughs> whatever move. Ooh, hello. The month's... This month's secret Team Skull password is Tapu Koko. Remember, a Team Skull member always butts heads and answers with a hearty no. Heal powder. Wait, so the password is both beat up and Tapu Koko. But if they ask me if I know the password, I have to say no. Is that what I'm gathering here? This is a, what a what a bizarre turn of events. Why are there so many rooms in this house? I'm so tired. Ooh, a TM. All right, I take it back. Sludge bomb, competitively viable, and a PC. You got a PC in this little... This is a kid's room. I can't help but envision that Team Skull kicked a nice little family. OMG. Please don't, please don't tell me that's my skull tank you're wearing. Ooh, no wonder it stinks. It is the same design, though. It does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Um, hello, our names are all grunt. What's the point? <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Ooh, a boy. I can't believe he was eavesdropping. I guess we'll have to teach him a lesson. See, this is the start of every porno I've ever seen. I'm telling you. Guy walks into room. Two Team Skull girls fighting about clothes. Next thing you know, there's... They're taking off their tank tops and being like, this one has a skull on it and just, you know. Whoa, that was like so uncool. I'll get revenge for you while still wearing your skull tank. So she's... That's the skull grunt maneuver, I guess. See, realistically, though, that Skull Grunt totally could have gotten revenge. Um, or if there was that, if that was a possibility, that Team Skull Grunt was stronger than the first one. So it actually did make sense that she was like, I'll save you because you suck and your Pokemon are weak. 
Uh, her skull tank was too tight for me. It was so distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. Is that it? I came in here just to witness an uncomfortable conversation. It got my hopes up that I was about to be engaged in a teen skull pornographic event. He's talking about me bumping into his room and how that's not in good taste, but you guys stole this house from, I don't know, there's a bunch of kids' rooms, either either like a really huge family or this was like an orphanage. I don't know. I gotta admit though, the background of all this uh, this area is really cool. Like look at the this, like the red carpet that we're fighting in. I think it's really cool looking. <sighs> I hope I'm almost done. I've fought a lot of battles here. Oh boy, another one. I can't even... The editing of this video is just going to be tons of me taking out battles and not a whole lot else. Maybe bleeping something. What did I say earlier? Fuck. Bitch. Shit. Something like that. Oof, moving forward. There's boxes, so I have to go through this room. Greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Master Guzma, then give me the three secret passwords. <laughs> there was three. Uh, unless No was one of them. Uh, he likes beat up best. Uh, he likes probably... Probably Galissapod, I'm assuming. It's the evolved form of Wimpod. I didn't actually see that one. Uh, what drink does he like best? Tapu Coco, baby. You always say no. And you're even new to say no at the end. Yeah, you're one of us, bonehead. Yeah, got him. Woo! If you want to have an audience with Master Guzma, then follow the path out on the roof. Ooh, you got that crazy quiz right, clever kid. I knew you could. Now onto the boss's room. My phone is about to buzz. Three, two, one. Told you. Got another item. See, this game is teaching children to walk out on rooftops. Way to go, game. I walked on my roof a lot. My dad told me not to. Said it was bad for the tiles. Did I care? No. I was a horrible child. Man, I'm sorry, dad. <laughs> ah! I gotta be honest, though. Incineroar has manhandled this entire area. So, he's taken out, like, every single trainer... And he still hasn't died, even though he's not very fast. Uh, but I think all that might be coming to an end because he is darn near defeated. So maybe, uh... No, I don't want to use McBro. There's a lot of poison types, Golbats flying types. We'll go with a little P. Climb back through, there's broken glass everywhere. And uh, two team thugs. And this is his room. He's got a little like standing space. Look at that. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma is here. I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day that someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm not here for you, man. I'm here for the Pokemon. Oh, young goose, how sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. <laughs> Cute. You came all the way here just for that, huh? Can't you just watch out for your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? You're one messed up kid. You wanna know what I do when some machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. 
I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now I'll see if it can if I can't fix you. Can't fixed? Maybe I read that wrong. What you got? We got a boss battle here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, two Pokemon. If I recall correctly, he goes Glissapod. And he has a second Mon. I don't remember what it was. Might have been a Hypno. Was it a Hypno? I feel like it probably wasn't a Hypno. Alright, Guzma. I bet you don't like no acrobatics. You sure don't. Uh, he's going to make an emergency exit. He doesn't even get off an attack. Bad luck, bro. Arayados. I'm going to finish this man. Ooh, he's got a shadow sneak. He's a sneaky little guy. Acrobatics. Acrobatics takes out Arayados. Garstella's hitting those levels hard uh we're gonna yeah we're gonna switch pokemon because i want to get incineroar in here because he has my amulet coin but he's not gonna stay in he's gonna make a quick escape we're gonna go into who can take you on no nah, i'm just gonna use lp i'm just gonna use lp because i know this guy can set up on me I don't want him to be popping swords dances and then murdering my face. Razor shell. I resist that. Still hits pretty hard. And drops my defense. I don't like that much. But I'm going to hit you with another acrobatics. Defeated. Continue. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, just two yes. <laughs> I got it, man. That was great. Yes! Yes! Marini is evolving. All right. This is good for two reasons. One, because I'm super excited to see what he evolves into. But two, because now I get to use Wimpod and get a uh, Galissapod. He's got a little face under there? What's this little face? Like a little... I see... I'm like pointing at the screen like you guys can see what I'm pointing at. But <laughs> I'm like... Okay, up here... He's got a little... Uh, maybe like a little proboscis? And then he's... <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, he's so cool. Toxapex. Okay. I like that. Toxapex. Yeah, look at his little face. He's surrounded by... Oh my god, this is cool. I already really like this guy as a defensive mon because he's got great, great type. I mean, think about it. He's a lot like um, Tentacruel uh, as a hazard setter, except that he can, he can heal himself. What's he want to learn? Baneful Bunker? We got another new move here, folks. All right, let's have a gander. Poison type, very cool. No power, no accuracy. In addition to protecting the user from all attack, this also poisons any attacker. It makes, oh, that's good. That's really good. So let's drop Toxic. Man, I really like that. Great way to continue to spread hazards. Not hazards. Status. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Yo, give the Pokemon back to the kid now. Yeah, take the, mm, take that Pokemon. Kill. Away he runs. Is that just a giant box full of, eek. Yeah, that's just a box full of shards or gold. I don't know. I'm gonna beat you down one of these days. No matter whose help, I need to do it. 
Hmm. Interessante. And Rotom says, huzzah, you beat that grody gone down. Oh, I couldn't read it fast enough. Oh, cool. It's a buginium. Not bad. You got a sweet little chair here. Excuse me, B. <laughs> I'm sitting in his chair. <laughs> you're, you're not the boss. What's the deal, homie? You're not the boss of me now, and you're not so big. Humph. Out you go. Sitting in that chair. He's got a little laptop here. The arms of the chair look like they've been slammed countless times by angry fists. I mean, honestly, his interior decoration skills are just... They leave a lot to be desired. But it looks like we beat them out of house and home. I don't feel great about that because earlier some of them were saying that they don't really know where they belong. And I, I beat them out of out of their home. I feel like a, a bad person. But it looks like we're all done here. We step outside and we cut the old man again. Have I got you to thank for this? Thank you. Thing must have been scared half to death. If it's glad to see a wretch like me. What a lot of hassle. Oh, look, he's got a gem. Dark? Darkinium? A trial goer, huh? Figures. Look, I'm not gonna fight someone who has taken on Team Skull. I healed your Pokemon up, so just go. Who are you? Though, looking around now, seems like there's fewer Team Skull folks around today than usual, huh? I guess some of them must have run off after seeing their boss get beat. Uncle Nanu, Akarol is here. And here comes that noise again. Phew! Oh, I'm so sorry. You must have been so scaled, huh? Thanks, Geo. Really, you really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you keep a good eye on things here. What else do you stay here for if not to putting a stop to Team Skull shenanigans? The rent's real cheap. No one else is crazy enough to stay this close to Team Skull after all. That's what you say, but it's really for the Pokemon, isn't it? You can be your donor to Aether Foundation, look at the Pokemon and Team Skull. Why don't you look out for them, huh? Come on, young gooses, get you back to Aether House. Cute. I'll come back again. See you soon, Uncle. See you soon, Uncle. No one's asking you to. What a jerk. And he's wearing those... If he's such a great cop, I, I just... Why is he still wearing his slippers? Pokemon tucked up in their Pokeballs. Team Skull lucked up in their ta little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. I don't like that they go this route. They've been doing this with multiple games. It says, let's go after Akarola. We've got to go back to the Aether House. So let's fly there, because I don't really want to run all the way out of here. Um... How far do I have to go? Really far, right? Not there. There we go. Can't fly directly to it, but I can fly to Tapu Village. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't like when the story arc goes that way. I know that was big in, uh, in Black and White and in Black and White 2. N was talking about free po freeing Pokemon, no Pokeball, stuff like that. I don't like that they do that because they make you not... They, inv Oops. they invent this concept where they make you think that it's a bad thing to put Pokemon in Pokeballs, but the whole game is talking about you having a good bond with your Pokemon and they're all in Pokeballs. So... Why do they do they they almost make you feel guilty about putting the your favorite Pokemon in Pokeballs, but anyway. We're home. We brought Young Goose with us too. Q Q Well, what's going on in here? Geo, I I'm sorry, I can't even make myself smile right now. What? But why? What happened? 
Miss Lily, she's gone. What? Several hours earlier. Ooh, we got a story here. So we got you people. Whoa, what do you mean you people? Just kidding. <laughs> Plumeria, not gonna disappear this time, huh? Seems like maybe the tall tales we heard about you were wrong. That was different. Nebby and I were both in trouble. This is the only reason why it used its power, so we could both escape with our lives. I know that I'm not capable of much myself, but I will not make it use that power again. I'm determined to not let that happen. That's why, this time, I'll do whatever I can on my own, even if I do find myself in trouble again. Yo, girl, you know you're in trouble right now, right? Dumb, spoiled little princess. It's fine. There's m nothing more for us to take from you. Which reminds me. Maybe not anyone really call themselves Pokemon thieves. That is what you are, huh? A thief? Please, there's no need to hurt anyone else here. I will go with you willingly wherever you want. Came back as soon as Akarola had left. What, what, what? I'm supposed to be a trainer, but when it came down to it, Lily had to protect me. Lily, who's not even a trainer to begin with. Oh, how? Did I hear it right? It was Lily who took Cosmog. Ugh. And you're also useless and weak now that Cosmog is... Lily is... Ah, I'll show you how angry you make me. Wait, really? You're gonna fight me now? We're in mourning, bro. Hi, but another boss battle. Back to back. B2 BBBs. Back to back boss battles. Team Skull Gladian hit me with that gold bat. Hit him with the gold bat. I'm going to hit him with that little P, man. All right, we got type null now. Um, so let's do this. Let's get Incineroar in here. I, I don't really, this is gonna be a weird, this is gonna sound weird. I don't really know what type type null is and maybe that's the point. Maybe it, like, it's weird and it doesn't have a type, but I don't really know what it has. Everything's effective against it. So Darkest Lariat's probably best I got. It's a cool design. It's kind of like a little bit of everything. He's going to hit me with that normal type Crush Claw. Uh, Darkest Larry, it doesn't look like it's going to two hit KO. Maybe we'll drop a Fire Fang on it. Chance that I either flinch it or burn it. Uh, and then I can finish it. Yeah, got the flinch. There you go. Now I can finish it off with a second Darkest Lariat. And type Null. Defeated. Continue. Sneasel. Hmm. Dark Ice type. Well, I probably shouldn't use Decidueye against it. I mean, honestly, Lil P is... I mean, Sneasel's a joke compared to Lil P. No. Yeah. Yeah, I said that right. Resist his stabs. Hit him with that Moon Blast. Oh, he has Metal Claw. That's clever. Neutral, but... Bump. Curious about Type Null. <sighs> How annoying. A lot of money, though. That was wrong of me. I shouldn't have dragged you into a meaningless battle like that. But I told you both. I told you that Cosmog would bring disaster to all of Alola. I have to get it back from them. We'll leave on the ferry terminal. You're coming with me whether you like it or not. So the only question is, are you ready to come now or not? I don't know. I... Yes. All right. Good. Then let's go. In the back, we got a little... Orin Guru, just like, hey, what's up? 
there's like three places back on this island that I've yet to go uh, that were blocked off by guardians. He says, hmm, but he's smiling in this picture right now, if you look up there. So you're waiting for how? He'll come. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. He's a pretty interesting kid, I'll give you that. Growing up in the Great Kahuna's shadow and still trying to stand up to Hala as an equal, I couldn't do it. Oh, come on. Nanu. If only Team Skull could have kept to themselves and their troublemaking to Po Town, why'd they have to go and make all this fuss, huh? You there, boy. I'm an island kahuna, you know. Battle against me. It'll be good experience for you if you're really hoping to master the island challenge. How convenient. So three back-to-back to back boss battles. What an interesting way to end this episode. Island Kahuna Nanu. He's got that triple threat sending out that sable eye. But I think I'm leading with a little P, so you are about to get muerte. Get dead. Moon Blizzle. Oh, he's gonna fake me out. Ouch! Just kidding. He doesn't hurt me at all. Sable Eye, you were weak. Oh, he must not even have priority. Or he just went for an attacking move. Critical hit. Quad effective. Low P's level 51. Alright, let's get Low P out of here. He's about to sell it. Croc, croc. Oof. I really wish I could stay in, but can't. Can't do it. Uh, this will be a weird matchup. He's dark ground, so I'm super effective with him on my grass type end, but I'm part ghost, so his dark type end is super effective against me. He's probably faster. Uh, and he has Intimidate Shucks. Shuckles. Um, well, let's go for that Razor Leaf anyway. Ooh, he's going to put my attack back up with that Swagger, but I'm also confused. Come on. Yay. Super effective. Plus one. Croc, croc. Goes. Down. Desidui gets the ding. And he's got a Persian. That pure dark. So let's get Incineroar in here and finish things off with a Thrash. I mean, I suppose I could go for the Fire Fang first. Pretty sure Thrash would do the trick, though. But it's too late. I already didn't move the button and just kept... Ooh, he has Power Gem? That's super effective. And a two-hit KO. And I missed my... F Ugh, shucks. Darn it! <laughs> Uh, if he goes for the two-hit KO, he's going to Power Fang again. I will resist it with McBro. Uh, I also resist the Dark type, and Power Up Punch is super effective and stab on my end. Oh, goodness gracious. He's going for that Darkinium Z-Power. Black Hole Eclipse. Have I seen this already? No. It looks a lot like another one. Wait. No. Ouch. Well, critical hit. Excellent. Probably. <laughs> I feel like I would have lived it, but that's fine. Uh, not going to send in Decidui to get murdered by that. So let's just... Let's do what we were born to do. Send out our longtime friend Lil P. Moonblast his tiny stupid face off his stupid body. There you go. <laughs> 12,000 Poke Yen. Not bad. Hmm. <laughs> well, shoot. Of course, I already knew you had the heart and the strength of, to storm Team Skull's stronghold, but I didn't know you were this good. And your Pokemon work real hard for you. Let me fix up your team for you. Alright. Thank you. Here. This is yours. 
Okay, it's that part of the video where I have to predict what the dance is, and I think it's got something to do with like covering your eyes because it's right. It's darkinium, so it's like throwing shade, right? Like ah, uh, maybe it's like covering, shielding from the light, something like that. That's my guess. That's my guess. Let's see. Ah, uh, who? I was wrong. <laughs> there. Congratulations, or whatever. You've officially finished your Ula Ula trials. Got some else, somewhere else to be, don't you? Try not to destroy the whole place. Oh, and you, boy, Gladian, tell me. If you're really trying to get stronger, as you say, what are you depending on Team Skull for? Well said, Nanu. Don't you dare say a word about this being fun. I won't. If I'd been stronger, then Lily wouldn't have... I'm ready to go whenever... It... Whatever it takes so we can take a look at our smiles and the fun future. Blah, 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 blah. But where was Lily taken? It couldn't be Poe Town. Gia was there this whole time. <laughs> so you're not quite as dumb as you are naive. Oh... <sighs> It'll be Aether Paradise. What? Really? I mean, that makes sense. Earlier, I kind of said in the opening scene, it looked like she was running through Aether Paradise. Aether Paradise is harbor. We made it this far without running into trouble. But I don't like how quiet it is. You two, stay alert. But why would Lily be here at Aether Paradise? She just will be. Ugh, this guy. Fine, so what are we gonna do? Ah, let's look for her. I guess we take the elevator. You guess? And we're following this guy? He doesn't have any plan? Well, I don't really... No, be careful, my friend. And onto the elevator. We've made it this far together. That's true. And we will continue to explore this on the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been episode 35. Hope to see you guys in episode 36. As always, my name is Jim Lita Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.